Hello everybody, 53 plays here, and welcome to part 11 of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We've just gone ahead and acquired a new spell called Scourge. The scoring charm cleans up ectoplasm, and we can finally get rid of the ectoplasm covering that giant door over there. We can use our L target and cast a spell on it, avoid the flying books, and we can finally make our way through. So this is pretty much the second half of this dungeon. We have this little room of uh, torches right here. And right here we have this little puzzle where we have um, multiple doors covering ectoplasm and a giant door over here with uh, four bars locking it. So what we have to do actually is get rid of the ectoplasm on the four doors and push switches to unlock that door. Let's go ahead and start from, let's go from left to right, so let's start with this one. Also, whenever you get rid of the plasm, it sends out a ghost, which is kind of annoying. I think this is actually the safest room of the bunch. There's nothing in here, there are no enemies, no flying books or anything. Let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest and get a cauldron cake, which actually we do kind of need, actually, after uh, taking damage from the uh, jumps and stuff. So here's the first switch. Well, technically the third if you're going from top to bottom, but this is the first switch, I'd, I would say. Okay, so there's that room. Also, zoom in. Wow, look at this room. It is huge. I wish I could go up there. Okay, so now we have the second door right here. If we take that out, we have these uh, tapestries. So, these rooms are going to pretty much require most of your uh, skills that you've learned, like including spells. So um, we can go ahead and uh, take these down. This to disappear. And then this one. I didn't have to go this way, but I just went ahead and take, take all these tapestries out. So let's push this switch, and this is switch number two. How fit fittingly, it's the second switch we uh, pushed. Very fittingly. So let's go ahead and put Scourge back on. Actually, you know what? Just for this part, I'm actually going to keep Scourge on B and put on uh, um, Expelliarmus with Y. Well, you know what? Actually, do uh, Scourge with Y. Expelliarmus with B. Because we're actually going to be getting into another dual battle very shortly. So let's go ahead and get this out. And now here we have the evil books. Let's go ahead and push the switch. And let's go ahead and check this for the heck of it. <laughs> That's a book right above our heads. Well, wow. alright. And we're done here. One door left, and that's right over... Whoops. One door left. I'm so used to doing B for that. And now we have rooms full of ectoplasm. Right here. We also have some ghosts roaming around here, so... Um, let's go ahead and take these out. Let's open this up. Okay, we're almost ma back up max full health. <laughs> really? After I got a pumpkin pastry... That's just lovely. Also, these two beans are stuck in here. Darn it. How on earth do I get out of here? And we get this uh, ectoplasm here. And here's our last switch. Pull the switch. And there's Goyle. What do you know? He's seen us. And now he came through that door. So yes, this is our next uh, duel here. We're going to actually duel uh, Goyle this time. Um, we can fire Flipendo. And... Um, keep flinging these uh, things back and forth. Okay. Okay, why did I not press B? I think actually you have to wait like after he dodges it and then fire full pet no. Okay, well, this is not good. Okay, come on. Okay, we're both down to one. Okay. Okay, darn it, I lost. Okay, so yeah, that's what happens when you lose. Basically, you just restart from the beginning. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, keep firing at Goyle. 
and let's win this, hopefully. Okay, come on, Harry. Oh, did I rebound that? Wow. Okay, he's down to two now. Uh, if you do touch that green... Um, oh, wow. We both got hit. Wow. If you touch that green... Oh, really? Oh, I woke up. I woke back up. Wow. We both landed up to zero. We both landed at zero, and yet we still won. Wow. And there's Goyle. He's basically frozen. He looks like he died. Wow. That's kind of dark. Uh, no, he didn't die. He just... The game says that he's just frozen there. So we won. Let's go ahead and go through this door right here. And we're in this next room with just a set of stairs and some bookshelves and a door. We're almost done here. We have, I think, one more mini dungeon right here. Um, so this one, we're basically going to need to push these two blo two boxes. Actually, no, sorry, not two. Uh, push this one box and um, push it to both of these sides, which contain um, a ledge for us to climb up onto. And if we go over here, you can see that there's a door with two bars uh, keeping it locked. And if, if you can figure out, we need to go ahead and push two switches. And they are both covered up from this ectoplasm right here. And fortunately, they don't have any ghosts behind How it. How earth do I get out of here? So yeah, we just hit Flipendo with that, uh, we just hit Flipendo on that switch and um, do this twice. And then we go through. The puzzles here are really easy to figure out. I mean, I got past this when I was in fourth grade. Because um, I think actually, well, I mean, this game was designed, you know, so that people like in fourth grade could be able to play it. Um, but yeah, it's it's elementary stuff. It's not, I'd say, as challenging as some other uh, big games out there. Um, but yeah. We unlocked this door so we can go through here. And we have this little storage room here with these uh, crates and uh, benches and a bunch of things in storage. We have this hole right here which we, we can crawl into. And this will take us back here into the annex. And we cannot go back in the um, storage room there. We are pretty much completely done with that dungeon. So uh, we basically right now need to make our way back to, up up um, to our common room. But since we're by the library, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what's behind those tapestries that we saw earlier. Actually, first off, let's go ahead and uh, put Lumos back on and uh, Scourge. Also, we can go ahead and show you what's behind the ectoplasm, too. Ow! So let's go ahead and go see what those are about. And as you can see, the glasses that we hit earlier do respawn. I really don't know why, unless I guess they somehow intended these to intended for these to respawn. Um, but I, I kind of would prefer it if they didn't respawn. Um, just because I don't see the logic in keeping these glass jars in that spot to keep the same to keep the same items no matter what. But uh, I'll go ahead and get this later. Um, so right here is our tapestry. Let's go ahead and get the Fendo on. And um, yeah, these these two areas of the library each have a do each have uh, two doors, and um, basically they all will contain a witch's a wizard's card. Okay, stupid book, go away. Yeah, all these rooms will contain a witch's and wizard's card. For example, right here. So let's go ahead and get this one. Let's see what this one is. Number eleven. Number eleven. Herpo the Fowl. Herpo the Fowl. Ancient Greek. Also, they also can contain uh, glass jars and um, also pumpkin pastries and cauldron cakes. Um, but mostly, what it's worth going in these rooms to get the wizard cards. Wait, can we get the star up there? Okay, B. Yeah, 25 out of 100. A fourth of the way done with those beans. Okay, let's see here. 
Okay. Yeah, this ta this tapestry will contain nothing behind it. It's just there for decoration. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the other side now. And there's our ectoplasm door right there. We go ahead and uh, put Scourge on. And no ghosts appear out of that. Thank goodness. And let's see what is in... Oh, there are ghosts in here, however, though. Didn't, I forgot about that. So we get a pumpkin pastry right here. And um, I've noticed that when, whenever ghosts appear, like, through you, they make this weird sound. Also, we get an owl treat. I don't know why they put this there, because because whenever I've explored Hogwarts and gotten this treat, I've never found Hedwig, so I don't know why they had a why they have a treat there. Um, but we have this chest with another card right here, and this contains number ten. Number ten. Uh, dot okay, so we're pretty much all done with the library for this part right now. Um, we'll be dealing with this in just a little bit. Um, okay, let's break these, get the Chucky Frog, and the Birdie Bots Bean, and let's go ahead and break these glass jars one more time. Yeah, I really think, I, I think it would have been better if they, if these did not respond, because I just... I don't, I don't see the point in that. All right, so let's go ahead and leave. And um, we do have enough time actually to um, do some other things. So I might just actually for this next part, go ahead and just have a little bit of fun here. And um, I might just go ahead and screw around with these prefix a little bit more. Have a little bit of fun here. And I will show you that we cannot get back into the restricted, the, uh, restricted section. So if you go over here, Open these doors. That's locked. They're they're locked again. So we are completely done in that area. We cannot go back. Um, it's a shame though, because I, I like I really like this whole area. Um, but yeah, we have a f we have some we have a few minutes to do some things. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, screw with these guys. If we use a if we use a stink pellet. If they're if they're um, if they don't see us and we use a stink pellet, they are gonna come towards our direction anyway. <coughs> see, he's gonna go this way now, um, because they're attracted to their. Um, Has anyone seen him? They're like the smell like distracted them, so we're going to that smell. Um, lost so yeah, him. he's lost us, and we're back here. All right, let's go ahead and let's do some wall sneaking. <laughs> I love doing that. What was that? Yeah, if you um, if they're walking in their normal path and you just hit them with flipendo, um, they won't like it'll just like be a distraction distraction to them. But if you hit them like twice. Ow! They will come to your direction as he is this purple Where did guy. He go? So yeah, these guys are gonna come toward us now, so. Run, Harry! Locomotor Mortis! Locomotor Mortis! See, I told you, I told you, I have so much fun with this. See? Lost him. Alright, let's go ahead and use a balloon now. Lost him. What was that? All right. All right, now let's go. Huh? All right. So yeah, just wanted to have a little bit of fun there. Um, so now um, let's go ahead and actually find that telescope. If you recall, the billboard—not the billboard. If you recall, the uh, lost and found board said there was a telescope that was missing, and it was around the grand staircase. So I think I'm going to go ahead and find that telescope right now. Um, I'll probably cut it out to when I do find it. Um, oh, there's a ghost. So, um, I'll search the rooms and see, and if I, f and, um, I'll see when I find it.
And it's right there. What do you know? <laughs> well, literally, like, right after I said it, there it is right there. And also that Hand of Glory, as I actually I found out what it's called um, on the Harry Potter wiki, did send out a shockwave. Um, so, yeah, we just need to walk slowly past that. And there is a telescope right here. Yeah, so you finally got to see what the uh, Hand of Glory does. Yeah, if you just run by it, it sent out a shockwave and you get hurt. Um, so, let's go ahead now and head back up to our Gryffindor common room. Alright, we are back. Let's go ahead and return this um, uh, thing to Hermione. And there's hey! Ron, too. I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mud blood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. And with that, we learn a little bit of a story, a backstory about the history of Hogwarts. So, the heir of Slytherin is apparently the only one that can unleash, the, unleash uh, open up the Chamber of Secrets and um, unleash the horror within. But right now, let's go ahead and return this thing to our uh, lost and found thing. So now we have Neville's Toad, last seen near the Herbology Greenhouses. And so we, with that, we get our next wizard card. Number 48, Salazar Slytherin. And how Slytherin. fittingly, it is of Salazar Slytherin. <laughs> Alright, before we end the day, I want to go ahead and buy, um, I want to buy something at Fred and George's shop. Yeah, first you saw us, but you're not a part of us right now. What's more important is this. Okay, so um, on the way up, I got a few. Um, I got a few more beans. So we're up to uh, 35 beans. We can either buy something worth 20 or something worth 30. Um, I will let you know that this potion vial and the spell book are both worth 100 Sting beans. Stink are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that. Did I? As I was saying, both of these things here are worth a hundred birdie bots beans. There is no way we're gonna do this deal with this right now. So Is there anything here that interests you? I'm gonna probably go ahead and buy either a balloon holster or a stink pellet bag. I'll probably buy I'll probably buy this. How much is this stink pellet bag? Twenty birdie bots every flavor beans. St I'd like to buy that, please. <laughs> you were about to say something about stink pellets. Now you can carry more stink pellets, Harry. All right. Now we, um, because we got that, we can now have a higher quantity of stink pellets. We're up to thirty now, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, and we don't have anything else to buy here, so let's go ahead and leave. I don't know if I showed this way out already. I think I did. If I didn't, this, then you can also go out this way and um, return to the reading room to this uh, crawl space right here. Percy, I hate you. <laughs> I love doing that to the prefix. I love toying with them. 
Alright, so let's go up here and this is the end of this part. So until the next part, this is 53 Plays saying have a good day and I will see you when it is daylight. Bye everyone.